Now, Gaylene's doing something very important here. She's actually looking for community problems within her already established audience to know what content to create. This is extremely powerful once you have a fan base because then you can go directly to the source. One of the reasons why I opened the workshop with what are your issues is because I know when I deliver the content for the next hour or so, it's not just gonna be, oh, this is really boring, I don't care. Because you just told me this is all the stuff you want. So there's two, there's two ways I would tackle that. Either option one, you say, you literally use that as your start, do you? And then you answer it, or do, do you, do we, etc. cetera, do, does ignite, right? Or you do the opposite way around and you say, most offer this, we don't because. There's just diff they're just different strategies. It depends on do you want more of a, are we talking, because you need to remember the point of the hook is you're asking permission for the audience to watch the rest. If you have a shit hook, it doesn't matter what you say after it because no one's gonna watch the video because they're just gonna go straight past. And that's why I said potentially reframing it because it's either you wanna go full out, there's two options for you specifically. Either you go full out and we're gonna compete. Okay, you've committed to that, right? No, that's fine, it, look, do what you want. I'm gonna say, either you fully commit, you're gonna commit, and then you should do, they are this, we are this, right? Or we are this only, and this is why we're unique. One of my unique selling points is, there's loads of other video people, I couldn't care what they're doing. I couldn't care what they're gonna say. I couldn't care what's going on in their world. In the nicest way possible, I couldn't, because I'm just solely focused on what I'm doing.